Today, we will show you the 10 best military drones in the world. Shebel Camcopter S100 Shebel's Camcopter S100 unmanned air system has proven its capabilities for military and civilian applications. It operates day and night, under adverse weather conditions, with a range out to 200 kilometers, both on land and at sea. The S100 navigates automatically via pre-programmed GPS waypoints. It can also be operated directly with a pilot control unit. Using fly-by-wire technology controlled by redundant flight computers, the camcopter can complete its mission automatically in the most complex of electromagnetic environments. Its carbon fiber and titanium fuselage provides capacity for a wide range of payload and endurance combinations. RQ-21 Blackjack The RQ-21A Blackjack is a small tactical unmanned aircraft system designed and developed by In-Situ, a Boeing company, to meet the requirements of the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Marine Corps. The Blackjack can be deployed for persistent maritime and land-based tactical intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, data collection, target acquisition, and dissemination missions. The UAS can operate in missions for more than 13 hours. It has a flight ceiling of over 19,500 feet and a minimum operating range of 50 Nm. The maximum horizontal speed and the cruise speeds are 90 kT and 60 kT, respectively. Saab Skeldar V200 Skeldar V200 Maritime is a medium-range vertical takeoff and landing unmanned aerial vehicle developed by the Saab Group. The UAV, capable of being launched from the deck of any vessel, delivers real-time intelligence and surveillance. Skeldar V200 is a more cost-effective alternative to conventional helicopters used in surveillance missions. The UAV can fly at a maximum altitude of 4,500 meters. Its maximum speed is 130 kilometers an hour, and its endurance is 5 hours. The maximum takeoff weight is 200 kilograms. Its mission radius is more than 100 kilometers. Watchkeeper WK450 The Watchkeeper UAV provides the UK Armed Forces with intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition, and reconnaissance capabilities. The air vehicle can be pre-programmed to carry out fully autonomous missions and can be redirected in flight by the operator on the ground. The air vehicle is equipped with global positioning systems, dual computers, and dual data links. For long endurance missions, the air vehicle can be fitted with two 501 underwing auxiliary fuel tanks. The air vehicle has a typical endurance of 17 hours. Orion the Orion is being developed for the Russian Aerial Forces, the Navy, and the Special Forces. The Orion UAV is classified as a medium-long duration aerial vehicle. It is assumed that the maximum duration of its flight is no less than 24 hours while being able to achieve a maximum altitude of about 8,000 meters. The UAV's takeoff weight increased to 1,200 kilograms, while its payload weight is 300 kilograms. The power of the Russian multi-purpose unmanned aerial vehicle comes through one rotative engine, which is able to accelerate the drone to a top speed of 220 kilometers an hour. At the same time, the estimated range of missions performed by this device is limited to a distance of 1,200 kilometers. Phantom Eye 
A high-altitude, long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle, Phantom Eye is designed and manufactured by Boeing Phantom Works US. The UAV performs intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions in Afghanistan for the defense forces of the US. It is the first fixed-wing UAV to utilize a liquid hydrogen fuel system. The UAV can fly at a maximum cruise speed of 277 kilometers an hour. Its maximum endurance is 4 or 8 hours. The maximum takeoff weight of the Phantom Eye UAV is 204 kilograms. General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper In March 2005, the USAF awarded a further contract for the system design and development of the MQ-9 Reaper. The MQ-9 has been ordered with eight delivered to the USAF. MQ-9 Reaper has an operational ceiling of 50,000 feet, a maximum internal payload of 800 pounds and external payload exceeding 3,000 pounds. It can carry up to four Hellfire II anti-armor missiles, two laser-guided bombs, and a 500-pound GBU-38 JDAM. The mission can be controlled through line-of-sight data links or through Kuban satellite links to produce continuous video. Northrop Grumman RQ-4 Global Hawk RQ-4 Global Hawk is a high-altitude, long-endurance unmanned aerial reconnaissance system, which provides military field commanders with high-resolution, near-real-time imagery of large geographic areas. The Global Hawk can carry out reconnaissance missions in all types of operations. The 14,000 NM range and 42-hour endurance of the air vehicle, combined with satellite and line-of-sight communication links to ground forces, permits worldwide operation of the system. High-resolution sensors, including visible and infrared electro-optical systems and synthetic aperture radar, will conduct surveillance over an area of 14,000 NM square to an altitude of 65,000 feet in 24 hours. Dassault Neuron The Dassault Neuron, a combat unmanned aerial vehicle. Its development involved aircraft designers from Dassault Aviation. The system of the Neuron incorporates highly advanced avionics, stealth, and network-centric technologies. The maximum speed of the aircraft varies between Mach 0.7 and 0.8. The Neuron weighs around 4,500 kilograms, and its maximum takeoff weight is 6,000 kilograms. Neuron has the capability to carry two laser-guided 250-kilogram bombs in two weapon bays. Northrop Grumman X-47B the X-47B is an unmanned combat air system carrier that is being developed by Northrop Grumman for the U.S. Navy. The Strike Fighter size unmanned aircraft is currently in its demonstration phase. The unmanned aircraft was first developed as part of the X-47 program. Operations of the computer-controlled X-47B UCAS are smart, and its flight control system is autonomous. The aircraft has a high subsonic speed of approximately 0.45 meters and a range of roughly 2100 nm. The UCAS can fly to a maximum altitude of 40,000 feet. That's all friends, thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the unmanned aerial vehicles you liked the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.